I just um, game a chatter on one on one streamer here on Twitch. After I'm still, actually I am I'm still live on Twitch right now. I'm just doing this, I'm just doing this diaries entry to get this off my chest. There's this streamer that uh, that opened up her stream to questions about uh, personal development, self help, right, uh, something to that effect. So, being the personal development buff that I am. I put in my put in my statement. I put in. I typed in my chat statement, and I said, um, "Bottom line, wag maging people pleaser." All right, and she rebutted, uh, saying that, "Well, depends." Sabi niya, okay. If you're a call center agent, you're uh, you need to pe to please people. You need to well something to that effect because I I've, I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten what she said this morning. Because kanin umaga lang yung stream yung yun eh. That sort of triggered me to do this entry. Now, bottom line, I do not give a fuck what kind of job you have. I don't give a shit if you're a call center agent, if you're uh, a customer service agent. You are basically not paid to please people. Okay? You are basically not paid to please people. You are only there to address their concerns. Alright? Especially these customer service agents. Okay? Most of them, most of them, nagadala lang sila ng, ano, ng, ng init, ng ulo, ng ano eh init ng ulo ng customer. Okay? They get easily carried away with the, with the customer's temper. So as much as to overpromise. And I'm very sure overpromising is is against your job, is against your company rules. If you're if you're a if you're a customer service or customer service or a call center agent. People who are not people pleasers Well, the way I see it, they are the most mentally stable. They are the most mentally stable people I know. The, these people who are not people pleasers, they don't give a fuck. All right? They don't give a fuck as, as to what uh, what others would say, what, uh, what you call this. Uh, they do not, in, they, it is not in their game plan to please you. Now, if you're a customer service agent or a call center agent, you should have this kind of mindset, in my honest opinion. Because, well, pleasing customers is not part of your job description. Tandaan yan. You are only there to address concerns, not to please customers. Right? Because, well, if you were able to address their concern outright, that customer will keep on keep on purchasing or availing of their services from you. You do not need to please customers or to please people. You do not need to please people. Okay? So here's my power tip for you, YouTube. Stop pleasing people period i uh, have to get something off my chest right here reddit um, it's been uh, well not exactly bugging but i really need to get this on the vertical diaries right. the day after the day after new year I've decided to unfollow some streamers on Twitch that are, well, that are, uh, uh, what's it called this, that stream games uh, nearly all the time, right? They're not, uh, they're not just, uh, just chatting channels, they're also gaming channels, but 90% of the time they stream games. 
I couldn't quite relate to these channels anymore. Right? Even though they, uh, even though they talk about anime sometimes, but I want to talk about anime all the time. <clears throat> all right, I want to talk about anime all the time. Okay, it's. It's the main reason why I'm on why I'm why I'm on Twitch because I do anime reviews there. I do live anime reviews. So I yeah, I concluded that these channels don't um, don't serve my brand. They don't serve my brand right now. So um, how many did I I unfollow? I think half. Yeah, half. Half the half the number of streamers I followed um, during my first month, I've unfollowed them all. I've unfollowed them all, especially those um, those channels that are not willing to talk about anime uh, on stream. Okay, but uh, all of them are all of them all of them stream games nearly all the time. Yeah, that's my number one reason why I uh, why I unfollowed them all. The ones I retained were actually channels that are purely just chatting, right? And uh, most of them don't talk about games when they're just chatting. Well, they talk about they ask uh, they add, they let no they let chatters ask some life questions anime questions yes yeah the they accommodate the accommodate anime questions but the ones i retained were are mostly pure just chatting channels all right because well it's okay to follow channels that are not in your niche you might learn something but um in my case, over the course of three months, half of them um, didn't serve my brand. Half of them, um, yeah, half of them didn't serve my brand. Okay. So Reddit, here's a power tip for you. It's okay to follow. Okay, I'm not. I'm not just talking about Twitch here. I'm talking about any social account okay. it's okay to follow or subscribe but if it's not serving your brand it's time to unfollow them i need to share this uh over here at Randy because it's quite an uh, it's quite an epiphany an epiphany for me because uh, I was able to I was able to um, streamline my workflow for the anime reviews okay whatever success I whatever successful workflow I did with the vertical diaries I'm now doing it also on the anime reviews well because number one I don't want to I don't want to do another all-nighter editing uh, editing videos <laughs> or compiling several videos into a digest uh, I've experienced that countless times already with the anime reviews and I just about had it up to here All right my own health is now at risk by uh, doing doing those all-nighters near all-nighters right if your well if your health your sanity or even your reputation is on the line streamline your workflow All right it's it's so simple to do because well uh in my case i do the editing for each review here on my phone so come weekend all i have to do is just compile them into the digest so that actually cut uh, my uh, cut the processing time probably by at least 
30%. Right? I intend now to to edit all individual to edit all reviews individually then come Friday or Saturday compile and, compile them into a digest. It's exactly what I do for for the diaries. My power tip for you, Reddit. If you're If nearly everything is on the line, streamline your workflow. Trust me. It's a great um, it's a great sanity, if not a uh, time saver. I'm gonna make this uh, really short and sweet LinkedIn. It's um, from what you call this. Uh, it's about coming clean. Right? Um, my stream inspired me to uh, to write an entry about this. Well, the way I see it, there are only um, there are only two ways in which a human being uh, can be forced to <laughs> can be forced to tell the truth. Either. either intoxicate him or her or uh, put him put him under so much pain All right not exactly torture okay you don't need to do that if uh, well if you're under if you're experiencing a lot of pain as in uh, you're you're that sick well you get to you get to tell the truth sometimes you you're you got no choice but to come clean sometimes regarding something something about your past something about what you've uh what you've done recently all right just to just to ease the pain now when it comes to intoxication well <laughs> you you get to come clean whether you like it or not because well you're totally not in your right senses when you when you told the truth here's a power tip for you linkedin if you need to come clean just come clean normally all right what do you what do i mean by normally well when you're not drunk when you're not under so much pain when you're not under so much stress well, actually, if you're under if you're under so much stress, coming clean is coming clean helps because it takes off the mental burden off of you. But normally, you just gotta tell the truth, right? You just got to tell the truth when your uh, when your brain is properly functioning, when your when your conscience is uh, when your conscience is bothering you, yeah, that's the best time. Again, my power tip for you, LinkedIn. When you need to come clean, just come clean. I wasn't able to talk about this on LinkedIn yesterday, so. I'm, not, I'm going to talk about this here on Instagram. It's called work simplification. Well, we've been taught in college that work simplification is basically um, simplifying, simplifying the work for a particular patient. Now, this depends on patient's needs. If he has, um, if he has a back injury, he can't do the heavy lifting if he's forced to do so he needs to uh, he needs to uh, lift from his legs and keep it close to keep it close to his body as close to his body as possible when it comes to stroke patients mm, they're always encouraged to use their use the side that has been uh, that has been paralyzed 
or the paralyzed side. Uh, more often than more often as as often as they can. In order to revive the nerves, the blood vessels that are there. Okay, just to uh, just to wake it up, right? Just to wake it up. Fast forward to 2021. I'm a content creator now, and uh, last uh, Friday, I went. I was up all night until 3 a.m. to uh, to edit, compile, and publish a publish a video on my otaku youtube channel i found it uh i found it i found it not so pleasant okay? it's a, it wasn't an, uh, it wasn't a pleasant experience because i was only able to get to, to get some sleep 3 a.m all right i didn't want to do that anymore so what i did was um apply the workflow that I usually do for for the vertical diaries onto the anime reviews wherein I would uh, pre-edit every entry on my phone then at the end of the, probably at the end of the week I would uh, transfer them all to my laptop so that I can so that I can compile them all into the weekly digest so and since the vertical diaries is no longer uh, no longer has that weekly digest I decided to use that for the anime reviews and uh, I've actually uh, started implementing it last uh, Monday all right two days ago so what am I driving at here Instagram in order for you not to um, not to experience that kind of uh, that kind of a moment that is uh, that's detrimental to either your either your mental or your physical health you just got to do something you just got to make it you just got to come up with a system that will that will make uh, the workload easier so here's my power tip for you instagram work simplification is not just for um it's not just for uh patients it's also it's also for normal people all right simplify the work as much as you can I'm about to uh, go to bed right now, but I just got to get this off my chest and tell you Instagram that, well, I'm through posting uh, diaries, entries on my feed. You heard me. Because, well, when I, when I, when I look at my feed, I always think that, um, I am shortchanging my current follower base because of this. Because the Vertical Diaries is supposedly um, supposedly follower only content, as in as in in the other entries on my other platforms, right? I don't uh, I don't make I don't make my entries public, especially on TikTok. On LinkedIn and on YouTube of course uh, I don't I don't make my entries there public it's always unlisted so unless you unless you're ups, unless you're a subscriber of mine and uh, that video is on uh, the diaries playlist you won't see it All right I wanted to make uh, I wanted to make the same thing here on Instagram so Guess what? If you well, from now on, the vertical diaries will now be in story form. Okay. 
unless you're a follower of mine you will you won't be able to see that because ipo post ko as uh, as stories okay sa stories yun na makikita ang vertical diaries so i'm just here to make that announcement and well by the time you're seeing this it's already on instagram stories so i want to make it more um I want to make it more follower friendly. So, I hope this is a good start. I just went over um Akidiris's uh channel and um I was uh in a bit of a surprise when I saw <clears throat> I was uh I actually watched uh a video of hers from her new show called uh, On the Case. Okay, here's what I'm driving at. The fact that Aki um, started a new show on her channel proves that well, there's a never-ending deluge of content out there. And well, to to start a new show on your YouTube channel makes a lot of sense. Aki Dearest is known for her otaku stuff, critiquing uh, certain animes and mangas, and she she also does unboxing videos on her channel, right? Which uh, which are pretty interesting, all right? <laughs> which are pretty interesting. She did it probably because of the fact that well, there's a lot more to talk about Japan besides anime, manga, and other. Otakuish things. Aki, um, Aki's new show made a lot of sense because, like I said a while ago, there's more to there's more to there's more to Japan than just anime and manga. So, it's not exactly a pivot, but she offered her audience of 2.7 million subscribers a new show to. Uh, a new show to look forward to right because well being a content creator you have to uh, think of ways to to entertain your audience to inform your audience of your of uh, of what your of what your niche is of what uh, you can what you can offer basically bottom line what you what you can offer as a YouTube channel, as a or even as a Twitch channel, or even, or even, or even, a, or even as a TikToker. So here's a power tip for you, TikTok. If you need to start a show, just start it. Who knows? Maybe you'll be, maybe it'll gain, maybe that show can gain, can gain you more followers, more subscribers. Right. So again, here's my power tip. Never be ashamed to start a new show. I just saw this, um, this very profound quote right here on Telegram. And well, I thought I saw that quote before when I was... Uh, when I was in high school, I think, or in college, but maybe it was during my student years, I never took it seriously. All right, but now being older and uh, wiser, if you give up what you well, this is what I learned from this is what I learned now from that quote. Temporary gratification is. Uh, not exactly, uh, not exactly self-fulfilling, all right. Like, like the quote said, never give up what you want most for what you want now. Okay. You may, uh, you may want this thing or that thing or uh, uh, maybe something immaterial like a, like a, like a girlfriend with a hot bod or a, or a boyfriend with a. Uh, or a boyfriend with killer abs or something like that. Um, 
you have to take into consideration what uh, what value this thing will bring to your life long term that's what the quote meant you know if you if you don't uphold your your lifelong dreams your goals and aspirations things as trivial as as that is going to run is going to run your life so telegram he's here's my power tip for you always think long term when it comes to the short term well easily put never think short term all the time think long term first